Good morning. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Sunday, June 8th. Uh, just an ugly week on Wall Street, especially Thursday and Friday. Uh, for those that have been saying there is no speculation in the price of oil, Thursday and Friday proved those guys wrong with oil running almost $19 a barrel in two days. Absolute insanity. Uh, driving force behind it. Analysts from Morgan Stanley came out and said oil's going to 150 by July 4th. They're also one of the largest traders in oil futures contracts. So just like Goldman Sachs, uh, no surprise, these guys are calling bullish tops because they've got their clients in and are likely selling all their positions right now. Parabolic move in oil recently, um, mirror of 2000 when we had dot coms and the calls of $1,000 a share on Qualcomm. Same thing in oil right now. When it ends, anyone's guess. It could end tomorrow. Uh, it could end two months from now. All we know is it is destroying the economy right now. Anyway, Dow chart. Here we have the 15-minute chart, and we broke down yet again. And this time we've got an expanding falling wedge, and this is actually bearish. Uh, this is where you know we're tight here at the top and expanding at the bottom. To break this one, we need to go over 12,600. We are deeply oversold, but if we flip over to the daily chart, we had a break down out of the bullish falling wedge. Again, another bearish development. We, the 12, 200 has, 12 100 to 200 area has been a break of this level over the last year has seen the 11s. So if we do not see a bounce tomorrow or sell off in oil, then odds are pretty damn high we're going to see 12K and under. Volume has also started to increase uh, on the downside, which is also bearish. Uh, some of the other indicators are oversold, like uh, stochastics were oversold on, but ADX is starting to go into a negative uptrend, which is bearish. Uh, really, in order to break this one, we need to get over 12,700 now, or we're looking at a move below 12K near term. SMH, uh, tech has been the... I guess the hiding place recently on that drop in oil, that's not the case anymore. SMH looks ready to break down here, a close below the 200-day moving average at 3189, and we're looking at 3050. RSI is about to break 50 for the first time uh, since the sell-off back in January, which is bearish. Uh, volume started to pick up on the downside we've got a negative ADX cross and you know just does not look good out there right now dollar part of the reason for the run-up in oil on Thursday and Friday you know we had early in the week we had the rally when Bernanke came out and finally said the Fed is going to support the dollar but uh, Thursday and Friday we had the one of the blind sheep from the European Central Bank come out and say they're gonna raise interest rates which is bad for the dollar so down the dollar came. So the last $20 move in oil, the excuse has been a sell-off in the dollar. Yet here we are well above the March lows on the dollar. So it's just you know further indication that it's nothing but speculation that's driving the price of oil, no matter what these clowns on TV are saying. But if you check the daily chart on the dollar, we've got an ascending triangle formation on this one. A mirror of what we saw in the SMH back in February through April before its breakout. So, you know, we're probably going to see a test, you know, of 72 or lower on the dollar. But for the medium term, the dollar is shaping up pretty nicely on this chart. I mean, it, it is a mirror of the SMH back when everyone was bashing it. Everyone's bashing the dollar now. So, you know, by the end of the summer, things are probably going to look good for oil and for the dollar. But for now, they're not. But just keep this in mind. This could be the final down leg if we follow the one, two, three on the ascending triangle. And the next move would be the breakout move. So a small positive there. Here we have the chart of oil. Just as you can see from February, we've gone from 87 to 140. I mean, what the hell? Unbelievable move. Uh, still has upside on this chart. RSI is not overbought yet. We're about to get a positive MACD cross. ADX has shot into a super bullish mode, and stochastics are also calling, you know, for a bullish move. So, oil does not look good for the market. It looks good if you're in oil, but if you're in stocks, doesn't look that great. 
Here we have the put call ratio, and the only reason I'm showing this one is we're at 115, but any reading over one is bullish. It means people have gotten too bearish and a bounce is coming. The sell-off we had in March, we got as high as 145. We're not even at that first sell-off high back in May, so it's bearish, but uh, we definitely could see a lot more before we see a bounce, meaning we could sell off before we bounce. Um, here we have the NASDAQ bullish percentage indicator. The only reason I'm pulling this one up is uh, it doesn't give me a warm fuzzy on tech stocks because if we look back, the bottom that we saw back in February and March, we were down here, a reading below 20, I said back then, was an indication to buy stocks. Up here in the 40s to 50s, that is telling you to avoid tech. So not the reason I'm showing you all these charts is what it's telling me is we're not getting bullish anytime soon even if we see a pretty big bounce on the market we're in a high cash bear stance right now with a scalp mentality even if oil sells off uh, a lot of these indicators are telling us to be very very careful stock plays XOMA has not touched its 20-day exponential in about a month uh, reason I'm bringing this one up it's been ranging nicely here in the 180s to $2 area nice news on Saturday morning we might see some more news on Monday that could pop this stock over $2 so keep a pretty close eye on Zoma tomorrow morning we should see a nice pop on this stock BCON Huge monster winner for us over the last couple of months. It's pulled back over the last four days despite the run in oil. This is typical on stocks that make big runs like this. We are at a support line right now. And, you know, these kind of stocks were pretty quiet on Friday, on Thursday and Friday. We should see interest in these alternative energy and small oil stocks uh, come Monday. If you look here as well, we had a massive rally on huge volume and then over the last week the sell-off has been on reduced volume which is also bullish as well so i would be looking for at least a pop back to the eight day moving average on zoma and that is at 192 right now last quick thing i'm going to mention here we have the chart of dug this is the ultra short oil essentially it's a short on oil when oil goes up, this theoretically goes down. But as you can see on Friday, we had an $11 pop in oil on Friday. And this stock rallied green. Now, the last time we saw this was actually back before the last sell-off in oil. So this may be telling us that we've had a blow-off top in oil. Uh, remains to be seen, but this is bearish for oil. Although, you know, I've got to throw out the other argument. Part of the reason we had an $18 rally in oil over the last two days was we had massive short interest in oil over the last week, and those guys got squeezed. So they may be doubling up on their positions here, and oil may be heading higher you know, in the short term. But uh, at least this is one positive when you consider that uh, the short went up even though oil actually went up itself. That is it for the video tonight. Not many stock picks, only because let's see what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, anything's guess where we're going to go. I mean, oil's up $18. A retrace is inevitable, but we've got so many bearish indicators on a lot of different uh, index charts that, uh, you know, flip a coin calling up or down on this one right now. Let's just uh, sit high cash and scalp. We're not investors right now. This is a scalper's market. If we play a few positions, small, you know, we can weather this storm. Remember, the last bottom that we saw in March, uh, the rally that came after that was phenomenal. So let them sell this puppy off, and, you know, we'll pick up the pieces and jump on the bandwagon when it moves back higher. That is it for the video tonight. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.